glorious completion. Nehemiah chapter 6 verses 15 and 16. So the wall was finished on the 25th day of Elul in 52 days. And it happened when all our enemies heard of it and all the nations around us saw these things that they were very disheartened in their own eyes for they perceived that this work was done by our God. As we journey to the book of Nehemiah, uh, we see a glorious completion to the vision that God had put in Nehemiah's heart. We see that the walls were built in an amazingly short time, 52 days, and the walls were rebuilt because all the people worked together. They pressed past any opposition, every opposition. They saw the work through completion and it brought such honor and glory to God. The people around saw that this was a work done by God through his people. What is interesting is that in the, uh, in the next um, two chapters, we see how Nehemiah handles success. You know, all of us must learn to handle success. And uh, uh, it is more difficult to handle success than failure. You see, many times we think uh, failure is so difficult to handle, but uh, it is yeah, success is equally and sometimes even more difficult to handle because success can totally cause us to go off track. But there are some important lessons we see from in Nehemiah's life of how we handle, what did he do past this glorious completion. There are four important things. We see in Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 2 that he appoints the right people uh, and he puts them in place. So the, the work of building the wall is finished, but that doesn't mean the work is over. The work must be sustained. The whole purpose and objective of blessing God's people must be carried out through time. And for this, we need the right people positioned in the right places. So he appoints right leaders. The second thing we see is he consolidates the work. In Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 3, he appoints guards, security to protect the people, to protect the wall so that the city no longer is left vulnerable to further attacks from the enemy. So we need to consolidate what God has given to us, protect it um, uh, uh, so that the enemy doesn't come in, infiltrate and ruin what God has helped establish. Thirdly, we see Nehemiah establishing God's rule. In Nehemiah 8 and verse 6, uh, at the, Ezra, uh, the scribe comes in and he begins to teach the people about the word of God. And so the people, after such a long gap in their history, begin to hear the very words of God. And they know, they begin to learn how to order their lives according to God's word and the way God wants his people to live. So Nehemiah establishes God's rule, God's kingdom, God's dominion over his people. And fourthly, uh, Nehemiah encourages people to bless others. In Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10, he says, you know, uh, you eat, you enjoy, you be blessed in the city, but remember to send portions to those for whom nothing has been prepared. In other words, in all the blessing you're enjoying, remember to release it to others, bless others with it. Four important insights on what we do when we see success, when we taste success. Victory is sweet, but remember, how you handle victory is very important. Appoint right people in the right places. Secure the work, consolidate the work, establish God's rule. And number four, share and bless others with God's goodness upon your life. Let's pray. Father, even as we journey and see success in the journey, as we taste the fruit of victory, of success, help us remember these things that we saw from Nehemiah's life so that in, in the, at the end of everything, you will get the glory and your work will continue on through generations. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.